Hi guys, uh, I just want to jump right into it. So I wanted to kind of explain the difference between the softbox and the beauty dish and why and how you'd use one versus the other. I put a really small softbox on here just so I could fit it within the frame and you guys can still see my face. Um, but quickly, uh, the light attaches to the back of the softbox right in the middle of the box. Um, and then the flash flashes out to the front. Uh, there's a baffle and on many soft boxes you have two baffles. You have an exterior one and an interior baffle. Um, and the reason for that is to soften the light and spread it around so that instead of having this tiny little light source that you see right here as the flash tube, it'll actually make it appear as though the entire soft box is the light source. That being said, even though it does make it appear as though the entire light source is, or the entire uh, front face of the box is the light source, it does tend to still be hotter in the center of the soft box than in the outer edges. And because of that, uh, photographers uh, like to feather the light. And by feathering the light, I mean instead of pointing the light directly at your subject, you're going to feather it in front because the softest part of the lights, again, is the edge. So I want the light from the edge of the soft box to hit my subject. Now for a long time I've been doing this incorrectly with a beauty dish, uh, kind of doing the same thing. I've been trying to feather the light, but and I don't know if you can see this, but I'm gonna try. If I, if I turn this light slight, slowly, I think eventually you'll actually be able to see the bulb in here, the, the flash tube, which is not what we want at all. So with this baffle in front here, this is going to block the light so that no longer do you have that hot spot in the middle of the light. Which means that you can now, instead of feathering the light like I was doing incorrectly for a long, long time, you actually point it directly at your subject. And now you've got this nice, that edge light that I was talking about with the soft box. You have that same edge light here and no hot spot in the middle. Um, if you back this way up, then you're no longer going to get that soft no longer hot spot in the middle, it's just gonna be one kind of harsh light. With that being said though, I also, um, this is probably the largest, uh, softest reflector that you're gonna get if you no longer wanna use a soft box uh, because of the wind or if you no longer want to use an umbrella because of the wind and you're at a distance. This is still going to be uh, incrementally very, very, Barely, but it's still softer than say a uh, silver reflector like this guy here. It's still going to be softer than this because there's a pretty big size difference between this guy and this. So I totally understand uh, why and how people use this uh, outdoors for uh, larger groups and whatnot. I, I personally always use a couple of really large umbrellas or a really large soft box. I took a couple photos. Uh, to compare the difference between having uh, the beauty dish uh, super close and also having it about, uh, I think I had it about eight feet away. I think you'll notice that uh, there's a bit of a glow with it in really nice and close and that kind of drops off the further away it is. One more piece I want to get to and that is uh, inverse square law. Google it. And basically all it means is the closer I have this light and the more I turn it down, uh, the quicker the fall off of the light. So uh, if, if I have it really far away, uh, it's going to light me and it's going to light the background. If I have it in really close and I turn it down a little bit to the same exposure on my face, it'll light me, but the light will fall off really quickly and it should be almost black uh, in, the, in the background. I took a couple photos uh, again with the beauty dish close up and one further away and you'll be able to see this. Um, and so I love my light as absolutely as close as I can get it to the subject because you'll have that nice gradient uh, fall off in the light. That's it. Hope that helps. Uh, let me know if there's anything else that I can make a video about, help explain, uh, or anything that you do differently. Thanks.